is August 17th, 2018. The time is 10.51 a.m. This is Agent Kevin Kobach from CBI making a phone call to witness in the Watts matter. Nicole Lee Kessinger at 720-656-9605 uh, texted me last night and said that she recalled some further information after an interview with her on the 16th. So this phone call will be to update whatever information she wants to provide and address a couple other issues that were not addressed during the initial interview. sleep last night? Yes. You, you sound a little bit better than yesterday. I feel a little bit better, not much, but I feel like sitting down and just talking about all of that with everybody is like, uh, it's pelvic. Good. Well, I think just keep that up. And again, if you need any, if, you, if I can put you in touch with somebody from a victim advocate to whatever I can help you with, just call and ask. Okay. I'm going to need you to do that once we're done talking. Okay, sure. I can get somebody in touch with you today. Um, and you don't need to tell me about anything. We talked about that yesterday. But it might be something good for you to do, and, and I can make that happen today. Thank you. You're welcome. So what you texted me about 2 a.m. and said that you uh, remembered some other information. What did you remember? Uh, like just kind of odds and ends. Um... And I'm sure there will be more as this goes on. I just, I interacted with him so much that sometimes, like, I just have to stop and think about how much information that I have gotten from him over the last few months and the last week or so. And, you know, like I said, I never know what's true and what's not anymore. Sure. But I figure I'll just give you guys everything I have. And hopefully I don't have to keep calling you back with more, but no promises. No, that's um, okay. Please do. I, like I told you yesterday, anything that comes to mind that you think is important, I'd like to know. Because you, again, you know him better than anybody probably over the last six to eight weeks. So that's, that's an, anything that he said to you or anything that stands out to you as you're reflecting on all this um, kind of mess here is important for me to know. Understood. Um, couple things. So one, I went back and I tried to like find whatever text you were talking about between my friend Charlotte and me with the harmony thing. And I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, if you and I, I mean, her and I text so much though. So like, if you find it and you show it to me, let me know. But it's just like, I mean, I was on that site, but it was never like worth a damn for me. So <laughs> it wasn't really something that I ever like discussed with her. However. When I was going back through there, I did realize that I had, like, offhandedly mentioned to her a little bit about Chris. I didn't tell her that I was, like, how deep the rabbit hole went on that, I guess you could say, but it was kind of vague, and she was asking a lot of questions at that point, but it was just like, oh, you know what? I did say something to her. That's kind of awkward. I don't even know why I didn't think of this earlier, but it was, like, it was very short, too. It was super brief. And like, I what, what's short? Like, what? what? What is short? Like a couple of minutes or 30 minutes? Oh, no, I thought it was only probably like less than five minutes. I think it was only like a couple of minutes. Okay. And he, I think we, we were like talking a little bit, but he like, he was laying down on a mattress that didn't have any sheets on it. And, um... I was like, okay, so I was thinking, like, well, maybe he's, like, he's in bed, I don't know what's up, but I remember asking him, like, where's your sheet, you know, and he's like, he's like, oh, I washed them, and then this is the part I don't remember if this sentence right here came in this FaceTime conversation or if it came in a phone conversation prior to the FaceTime conversation, but regardless, this next sentence came 
on Monday night, and I'm so sorry that I cannot, like, always remember chronological every little detail. It's okay. It's understandable. There's so much. Um, but I remember he was saying that he was cleaning the house um, to try to keep busy to take his mind off of things. And this was on the phone. And I didn't, and it was kind of late when he was doing it. And, like, I didn't honestly think that much about it originally because that man is always cleaning. Like, he is very, very, like, organized, meticulous, clean individual. Like, he's the type of guy that will, like, vacuum his whole house one week, and if there's rooms that don't get used, he'd vacuum again the next week just because it's, like, part of his routine. Okay. So, the fact... So the fact that he's, like, cleaning to kill time and take his mind off things did not seem like a super red flag to me. Um, because I was like, okay, well, that's what he does. He just, like, on his days off, like, he organizes his basement or he, like, cleans his garage. It's just, it's what he does. Okay. And, um, so anyways, so that didn't seem at all, uh, like, the norm for me. But something that just kind of, like, dawned on me last night is he made the comment directly after that. He said, I had to wash the kids' sheets. He was like, they smelled. And I was like, was thinking about that last night, and I'm like, this man keeps that house so clean. That's like the cleanest house I've ever seen. And I'm like, this man keeps that house so clean. Why would his kids' sheets smell bad? And this, and that, do you think this was what, Monday night? What time do you think it was Monday night? Oh God, I don't even know. I almost wish you guys would show me my phone. So record. I'm gonna I'm gonna read off your phone calls for Monday and Tuesday, starting. No, it's on Monday. Just, okay, just so show me on Monday night. Monday night, you guys had. Um, we talked about um, a phone call yesterday, but you guys had a phone call Monday night. It looks like he called you. It was 48 minutes and 57 seconds. It was at 9.48 p.m. that he called you. Um, so that would take us to about 10.35. And then there's another call on Monday. It's for 51 minutes and 25 seconds, it looks like. I'm not sure, looking at this, who called who, but it looks like you called him. And that was at 11.09 p.m. That lasted 51 minutes, so that takes us to um, midnight. And then there's another phone call where he calls you. So we're now into midnight, you know, Tuesday morning. It's a 30-minute phone call um, that lasts until 12.38 a.m. And then after 12.38 a.m., there's a 2-minute and 44-second phone call that lasts for, or pardon me, that starts at 1.12 a.m. It's 2 minutes and 44 seconds. So, yeah, so I would almost, this is just me, but I would go get my text messages with him from that night, and I would, like, sync them up to that, like, time frame, because there was texting in between that. So I think what happened is he called me on that first call, and then there's that gap between the first call and the second call. In, in that gap, that was when I be FaceTimed for a few minutes, and that was when I got up out of bed because I was just having trouble sleeping, and I was like, I went and did laundry. That's what I did. I went like, put some clothes. I just put some clothes in the dryer, and then I think I called him back, and then we continued to talk. So that little gap right there between those two big phone calls at the very beginning of the night, no, yes. not the very beginning of the night, but the like the big big ones of the, the the first two. So in between that gap, there's a there's like a quick FaceTime. So do you think that two minute and forty four second is the FaceTime? The one at the very end. Yeah. Well, so no, there's, there's, there's. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even think the FaceTime's on there. Okay. The so FaceTime occurred in between those two big phone calls. That okay. Like, no. Okay. Because it was so it was like one big phone call, and then there's, and then there should have been there's a FaceTime, and then and, and the FaceTime's short. It's only a few minutes, and then there's probably just a few more minutes. There's and that's probably. So what? there's a few more calls on Tuesday. So 112 is the two minute and 44 second call. That so that lasts till um, approximately 114, and then there's a long gap uh, until 150. So another 45 or 35 minutes, and then there's a seven minute phone call. That phone call lasts till 158 a.m. 
and then there's a 10 second phone call at 2.07 a.m. followed by, um, so he, I think he calls you and maybe leaves a voicemail or something or doesn't, you don't pick up. Uh, so there's a 10 second call and then directly after that there's a 10 minute and 24 second phone call. Okay, so I'm talking about the two at the very beginning of the, the Okay, two, the, the two long ones. Really long ones. And is yeah. that when he's talking about the kids? Um, yes, sheets. with the sheet. Okay, so yes, 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 yes. I will help you line this up. Like, I almost want to just come in there and, like, drop and drag all of my types to where they were going. And it, you know what? Like, we may meet and do that uh, here coming <laughs> early next week. Yeah, well, all those phone calls at the very end of the night, that was me freaking out. Like, if you look at my text, a lot of that was like, I can't sleep, I'm really scared, where's your family? That was like me freaking out and him calling to, like, try to reassure me or me calling him, like, please talk to me, I'm super scared, where's your family? Like, those those little ones at the very end of the night are, are me not being able to sleep and trying to get him to, like talk to me about like and just I guess making sure everything was okay so that those those like real late ones and that's why they're all kind of like sporadic because I'd be up for like an hour and then I'd fall asleep for like 15 minutes and then I would like wake up and start stressing again and try to call them back like so that's why they're all these like little sporadic ones throughout the end of the night but those two big ones is it, so yesterday we talked about Tuesday was mainly text messages regarding um, your confrontation about his wife being pregnant. Yeah. Is that accurate? Um, it is. And I mean, I guess, I guess those phone calls were on Tuesday morning, but for me, it was still Monday okay, night. I, so I, I was agree. talking to you guys last night. That's right. how I would refer to it because I hadn't, like, gone to bed yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that makes sense to me. Okay, so... Okay, so, 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 he, so I guess those technically were on Tuesday, but according to my daily sleep schedule, that was still my Monday night. Right. So the last phone call... Um, with him on Monday, well, it, it's, it, it basically starts into Tuesday, um, it takes you all the way to Tuesday. It actually okay. ends, like, basically at midnight on Monday, August 31st. So, okay. um, his wife gets home sometime at about 2 o'clock on, um, that morning. So, no, she got home on Sunday. Pardon me, she Sunday. Got Sunday. She got home on Sunday. So, did you ever talk to him late on Sunday night? No, we were on the phone, but I mean, I, I had to let him go and get up and go to work. That was so the 9 to 11 call that we, it was like a two hour phone call we talked about yesterday on Sunday night from 9 p.m. to 11. And that would have been the last time that I talked to him until the work day on Monday. And that's when he texts you at like 3.45? No, we talked during work. Remember I told you he like randomly texted me throughout the day at work, but it was like, it was just like bullshit conversation. Okay. It wasn't like anything. Of no, no sustenance. Okay. So the, the most important thing that you've said here is this Monday night phone call, um, he doesn't have any sheets on the bed, and he said his children's sheets were smelly they smell okay. yeah so let's let's get back to that because i feel like you and me are kind of getting off track yep. so go to those, those, those that that first long phone call on monday night was i think when he told me that i don't think he told me that in the facetime text i mean in the facetime conversation i think he told me that in the first conversation where he was like there's sheets smell and i remember thinking to myself like why? Like, you keep such a clean house. Like, why would your kids sheep stink? And, like, it just didn't really click. Did, and did you confront him? I would, why they... What's up? Did you confront him why the sheep smelled, or did you inquire why? No, 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 no I didn't even ask. Do, do you know his... I mean, uh, his children...